Well, Gus has decided that the previous video is done now. So we're going to focus on the other birds for about 20 minutes. There's a Mia, that Hagrid. I have a lap full of Vinny again. Here's a Betty and an Escher. There goes a PJ after cookie. Hi, Val. Hi, Rigby. Oh, God, you have the sweetest face. Oh, that Rigby. In case you're wondering where the Gus is, he's on my head. Babies have not finished preening. <laughs> Betty has found a new and interesting way to play with the chimes. Instead of just pecking one, he will grab it at the top, pull it down to the end, and then let go so that it swings into the other chimes. just likes to stand on it. Cozy preening time for all the birds. Hi, Bean. Amy. Hi, Cookie. Hi, Sissy. Bye, Bean. <coughs> Hi, Sissy. Oh, it's Dredgy Cody. hopped from my head to the swing. He likes swinging. Most pigeons like swinging. Case in point. Oh, hi there. God bless birds all of preening. For those of you new to birds, all of preening is social preening. For those who have read the Warriors series, this is the pigeon version of sharing tongues. Oh. Spectacularly stretchy bean. Hollow preening is practiced on flock mates with whom you are very comfortable. Yes, bean. What does that bean have to say? Oh. That's rude. <laughs> Are we back on Mom's lap belongs exclusively to Bean? Because it doesn't. Also belongs to Val and Mia. Nice beautiful Vinny. Hello Vinny. My Rigby down there. Hey Rigby. And that Escher when she wants it. Hi, Escher. Oh, hi, Hagrid. Didn't even see you down there. Hey, stretchy Hagrid. Oh, comfy lady. And her comfy dad. 
my bean. yell about nest boxes. Alternately, it's time to nap. Everybody has just had breakfast. It's also time for boys to start yelling at girls. Cookies box. Hi, Cookie. The box PJs picked out for Escher. Oh. Fussing at your dad. Y'all having a dispute? Babies still preening. Pretty, pretty babies. My God, they're gonna be pretty. Josh fell asleep on the swing. Oh, hey, Ellie. Hi, Mia. Hey, Betty. Hey, Silk. What you doing, Rigby? That's just the coziest hack. Get that cozy Hagrid. How can I move with such a cozy Hagrid in my lap? Hey, Rigby. How are you doing? Hmm? What's that Rigby doing? Where is she going? Luxie. Where's that handy? Oh, there she is. Up here, napping herself a nap. Hey, Ellie, you want to get in my lap? Oh, it's all opening time. They're funny. They preen me like a member of the flock. But trying to reach for them with my hands can be kind of scary. So there's only some of them that I'm actually allowed to preen back. Uh, I love watching the birds play with the chimes. I'm so pleased I found that. Let's do Hagrid. Oh, so you see how Hagrid's crown feathers, the little ones just above her beak, are floofed out like that? That's a comfy bird. That's a contented, sleepy bird. Who feels perfectly safe right where she is. Look at her pretty curls. She's only half frill back, and they're so expressive. He's sweet. Hi, Rigby. Hey, Rigby. You want to spend some chill time with me? Well, maybe he's all like, guess I don't get lap time after all. Hi, Escher. Hello, beautiful, shiny Escher.
Hello, beautiful, shiny Asher. Where are you going? <clears throat> whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, no. Mia is caught up in an argument between Sony and Pippin. What's funny is that wing twitching like that can either be aggressive or it can be excited. It's usually associated with courtship. Oh no, someone landed too close. And both of them lost that spot. Spectacular. Great job, Silk. Oh, hi, Bean. Welcome back. So it looks like, nope, this is my spot next to my wife. Notice how every bird is about, mm, about box length apart. That's how many that swing can comfortably hold. Oh, hey, Hagrid. Are you awake now? swing. As you can see pretty clearly, um, the status conveyed by personal space in Pigeon Society. The higher status a bird in a loft, <clears throat> the more uncontested personal space they are permitted. Cody. Sammy? I think that's Sammy, who is loudly begging from the food pile on the floor. Peeps just do that. a little bit for peeps for it to fully sink in for peeps that uh, food source does not automatically equal parent they assume for the first little while that they have to beg from any food source He's being especially loud here because his foster dad is there next to him. And while five weeks is a little bit too old to still be parent fed, some parents will continue to feed them all the way up to eight weeks. So Sammy is also hedging his bets. He's eating on his own, sure. But his dad's really close, so he's going to cry and ask, feed me, feed me. Because even though he can feed himself, it's really comforting for his dad to feed him. Like how human toddlers, even after they can drink for themselves, still want something to suck on. Hey, Bobby. Do you decide to get brave? And their dad has had enough of this. They are big and old enough to feed for themselves, and Sammy is clearly having no trouble eating. No thank you, he's going to yell at me. Hmm. Ellie's up there with her dad. And her mom. Pac-Man. Oh, no, that's Cookie. Papillon's bard. That's Papillon down there by me. That bean seems to be trying to court. Interesting. <clears throat> so, Papillon.
Scorpion is Money Penny's daughter, and she has taken after Money Penny. In that, generally speaking, she wants to be the only bird raising her egg. Money Penny only really saw Cox to be useful when she wanted an egg fertilized. She doesn't tend to let them nest with her or help care for the chick. Now, Bop, her her last squeaker, was an exception, but I'm pretty sure that's just because Emilio wasn't going to take no for an answer. And also because Gwen decided that since Emilio was trying to raise him, that must have been hers. So Bop actually had three parents. Oh, Betty. He's courting his wife. Hi, Cookie. No. Oh. Now he's trying his luck with Cookie. Hey, Cookie. Hey, precious baby girl. Oh, is it preen time? Is it time to preen me? Oh, hi, sweetie. Hi, Rigby. Bye, Rigby. Oh, hey, Luxie. Is that going to be a brave Luxie today? Is that going to be a brave Luxie today? Oh no, my hand moved too much. That's a little bit of a scary for a Luxie. Luxie is afraid of hands. But she's seen since she moved out here birds sitting comfortably on my lap. Maybe she's thinking about it? We'll see. Oh, there's a Rigby. That belongs to Rigby right now. <coughs> Rigby and Cookie. Oh, hey, yeah, sure. But there's still a Luxie over there. Still thinking about it. So she sees Rigby sitting here. And had nothing happened to Rigby, except sometimes I give her treats. Inch a little closer, though, Luxie. She might want to inch a little closer. Asher just landed on my head, kicked up a snowstorm of feathers. Hi, Rigby. I'm very curious to see what Luxie's gonna do. I like to do the day in the loft stuff first. Oh. Oh, she'll sneak close enough to forage next to me. Look how close my knee is to that Luxie. What a good girl. If I'm going to do both treat time and day in the loft stuff, I prefer to do day in the loft stuff first because treat time immediately changes everyone's behavior. Everybody wants treats. You're not really going to see birds just birding about, you're going to see birds excited for treats, which is useful in and of itself, but, you know, hi Rigby, hi Rigby, Oh, it's just not exactly, not exactly documentary material. <laughs> Sammy's still hedging his beds. Oh, that was Bean playing the chimes. Oh, Bean. Okay, well, our 20 minutes are almost up. And there they go. Be back for treat time.